Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 6, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to continue with the theme of Expert 5, the last class, by learning how to send more types of letters directly from our Access database. In today's class, we're going to send collection letters to our customers. So we'll set up an order table, put some orders in the system, and then we'll send collection letters to all the customers who have orders that are past due. We'll set up multiple letter templates in our system. This way, customers who have orders less than 30 days old get a nice letter. Customers with orders from 30 to 60 days old get another letter. And then customers who have orders more than 60 days old get a nasty collection letter. We'll set a date range for each collection letter. This way, when you pick your 30 to 60 day collection letter, for example, the specific date criteria are set on the form for you, and that determines which customers get their collection letters. It's all done automatically. Next, we're going to broaden the letter writing form so that we're not limited to just sending collection letters. We're going to utilize that is active field that we added to our customer table way back in lesson one so we can send a letter to all of the active customers in our database. Then finally, we'll utilize the lead source category that we put on our customer form so we can send a letter just to customers in a particular category or lead source. I show you several different ways to generate mass mailings. You can take these tools and set up any kind of criteria that you want. Now this class is based heavily on the techniques we covered in the previous class, Access Expert Level 5. If you have not watched Expert Level 5 first, I strongly recommend you watch it before watching this class. This class is almost a part two to the Level 5 class. I will be using Access 2013. However, everything that I cover in today's class should work just fine with 2007 and 2010. If you're using either of these older versions and you come across something that doesn't work, please let me know. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should either upgrade to Access 2013, which is what I recommend, or visit my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for my Access 205 tutorial that covers roughly the same material that this class covers. You are strongly encouraged to build the database that I build in class. It's the best way to learn. However, if you're lazy like me, go ahead and download it from my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. My courses are broken up into four groups, beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. The beginner lessons are designed to give you a basic overview of the simple features of Access. The expert series, the one you're in now, is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. The advanced lessons cover working with macros, automation, and many more advanced features. And the developer lessons get into programming with Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. Each of the series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. The beginner series, for example, had levels 1 through 9. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com forums. To get the most out of this course, 
I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. We're going to begin by sending collection letters to our customers that have orders that are past due and unpaid. So in lesson one, we're going to build an order table and we're going to set up a query so we can see all of the customers that need to get collection letters. In lesson two, we'll take the query that we made in lesson one, use it to build a report with a customized message to the customer. In lesson three, we're going to make our collection letters customizable. We're going to set up a letter table where we can have three separate letters, one for customers who are less than 30 days old, 60 days old, more than 60 days old, and so on. And we'll be able to specify the begin and end dates and generate a custom letter for each of our groups of customers. In lesson four, we'll see how to change the range of dates based on the collection letter that you pick. So if you pick the less than 30 days collection letter, the date range changes automatically from 30 days ago to today. In lesson five, we're going to broaden the scope of our mass letter writer. We're going to do more than just collection letters. We're going to generate letters for all of our active customers. We're also going to generate letters for customers based on their lead source or category. 